Indiana provides a wide variety of rights of recovery for people who've been injured in accidents. Uh, the specific rights of recovery that you have are going to depend on the specifics of your case and some may be available uh, in some cases and not in others, but there are some core rights of recovery that are usually involved in pretty much any injury case. Uh, first, if you've got medical treatment, you're going to have a right to reimbursement for your medical expenses. After that, you're going to have a right to recover for pain and suffering and permanent injury. These are generally the two largest components of a personal injury case. Pain and suffering deals with the physical discomfort you've endured as a result of your accident and as the treatment that you have to go through. If you do not recover from your injuries, then you may also have a claim for permanent injury, and that is also often sizable. Following that, you will probably have a claim for mental anguish. Mental anguish deals with the emotional uh, turmoil that follows an accident, the stress, anxiety, and worry that people go through. You also have a right to recover your economic damages, and there can be different types of that, whether it be loss of wages, loss of opportunity, diminished earning capacity. You also have a right to recover for loss enjoyment of life, and that provides recovery for those things that you love to do in your life that you can no longer do as well or at all as a result of being hurt in an accident. Actually, your spouse may have rights too. We call those derivative rights, whether that be loss of services or loss of consortium. And depending on, again, the specific nature of your case, there may be even more legal rights. The best way that you can find out what your rights are is to consult with an experienced attorney. We offer free case cons consultations here at Webster and Greeno, and I'm Stephen Thompson, and I'm here for you.